So I was actually holding back on making this video because there are already a lot of amazing guides about drift boosting in Crash Team Racing on YouTube right now. However, the game has already been out for more than 3 months now and within those 3 months of playing CTR, I've actually found out some amazing tricks and advanced techniques that you can utilize in the drift boosting to make it much much better. So if you are completely new to drift boosting or if you already have a basic idea of it, this video will be perfect for you as I'm sure that you'll discover a new trick or two to step up your skill in drifting. So without further ado, let's start with the video right now. So first of all, I'm going to be explaining what drift boosting is and how to do it. So if you already know the core basics of it, you can skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen right now to move on to the advanced section of drifting and drift boosting. Now let's start with what is drift boosting. Basically in Crash Team Racing, you are able to release a temporary boost while you are drifting. In order to do this, you will have to press and hold the L1 or R1 button to start a drift. And while holding the drift button, press the other button to launch a small boost forward. So for example in this clip, I'm holding the R1 button for a drift and pressing the L1 button to boost while drifting. Now do note that if you are playing on the Xbox or Nintendo Switch, the buttons are the same. The next thing you should take notice is the boost indicator on the bottom right of the screen. Basically the longer you stay in the drift, the meter will start to build up. You would want to aim to press the boost button at the very last section of this bar. This will give you a perfect and the maximum amount of speed from the boost. However, there are some exceptions that going for a good boost will be a better option. We will get to that later in the advanced section. The final thing you should know about drifting is that you are in full control of your drift. What I mean by that is that you are able to adjust the angle of your drift once it started. As you can see here, turn to the inside to drag your cart tighter into the drift, while turning to the outside will pull your cart away from that direction. However, do not pull it for too long as doing so will result in a spin out. And that's about it for the basics. Now let's move on to the advanced section to discover some secrets and tactics you can use for drift boosting. Now the first tip on what you can do is something I like to call the ramp sliding. Now what does this mean? Is uh, instead of doing this, you do this. In case you didn't notice, what I did there was that I simply just started drifting on the ramp instead of jumping at the end of the ramp. This actually allows you to be slightly faster in some cases and you will need to do this most of the time to maintain your reserves for Sacred Fire and Blue Fire. In case you're wondering how to maintain Sacred or Blue Fire, I've already made a guide about it on my channel. You can also click here to go to the video immediately. The second technique that you must do is to practice immediately drifting after landing from a jump as shown in the clip now. To do this, just hold the drift button before you land. This will put you in a drifting state and you can immediately start drift boosting again. This is important because it saves time of you having to jump into a drift after landing. Now the next tip is something that I've mentioned before in this video which is that doing a good boost is sometimes better than aiming for a perfect. Now why is this important? Because the reason is that when you are taking a sharp corner or when you are about to hit a wall, going for an early good boost will save you most of the time. Remember, good boosting will also push your cart inwards which in turn will make you turn tighter and keep you safe from banging into walls. Now I understand that if you are new to the game or aren't used to drift boosting yet, it will take some time to get the hang of it. Just know that the more you do it in your game every day, it will become second nature to you as muscle memory will slowly take over. If you've got any questions so far, do ask me in the comment section down below. Also, do like the video and subscribe to my channel if you learn something new. It makes me happy to know that my video has helped someone so far. So that wraps it up for now and I'll see you in the next one.